On this episode of History Hunters, Sarah hijacks the topic of history to have a little fun with animals. We're at Nurtured by Nature. We're going to have an animal experience with kangaroos, capybara, armadillo. The main attraction, swimming with otters, because they only have a very limited number of um, public swims. Um, they do swims for Make-A-Wish Foundation, um, and they only allow a certain amount of public swims to help um, their conservation efforts. In an effort to pay it forward, Kevin and Wendy Yates founded Nurtured by Nature. The husband and wife team bring a unique animal encounter experience to the public and to children in need of extra giggles and joy. The first thing we had to do was get in our swim attire and sign a waiver. Why we've handed out the, the toys to you guys. Uh, they are in kind of their, their learning stage right now. We don't give our otters very many rules, but the most important rule that we give them and we're very, very uh, strict about enforcing is that they can't play with us the way that they play with each other. Somebody is very excited to become <laughs> There we go. Yes. Oh, we're just so loud. We're just so loud. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> but how will we want Oh, yeah. No, we need some like Sunday. Did he grab? Oh, he's good. How are you? Oh, yeah. Do you like leg? Is he biting you? No. So one of them is nibbling on your leg here. And uh, basically, he's kind of just, he loves hair. Oh, you didn't tell me that. Well, actually, he hasn't done it for a while. He must be really appealing. Yes. Yes. So if you take a look at their little hands, yeah, yeah. They have very short nails as well. Yeah. And very fleshy yeah. That means they are incredibly tactile animals. They, they have a very good sense of touch. And they use that to the end degree. Tiger baby. Gentle. Not the shirt. So they're still learning the difference between clothing Gentle. and the cloth and the cloth clothes. Like a baby. <laughs> like, what? what am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing right now. I just watch you. I just watch you. Make sure you're being good. No. No. You can like see what they're thinking. Yeah. And the social structure of the world is a lot more than that. And all the other members of their group are going to be offspring from that alpha male and female from different litters. And he still likes your legs. Huh? The size of a romp in the wild can be anywhere from five or six animals all the way up to maybe 20. <laughs> I love when they just go head first into that and then their legs are like behind them. They do everything together as a group. They search for their food together as a group. By sticking yeah, their hands, he's doing exactly what's normal behavior for them. Now he's sticking his hands under, under your feet. Oh, that was so cute! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, he's like, I want this thing out of here. What I think is funny is they've never oh, seen it. Oh, nice. They love the glasses and they're both in there now. Hi! Yeah. <laughs> Are you telling about partner? Personality a lot. Personality a lot. This, uh, these two boys, uh, uh, Porky has a bigger head, and he also has right now a pinker nose. Um, they tend to grow out of their pink nose. They grow out of their pink nose, so that will change. Oh! oh we got it back! Victory! Um, <laughs> and then, uh, uh, what Wendy was saying, Kristen, they are starting to Oh, your tail's flat. You got any, is that little udder? Or a, what a rudder? I said udder. Uh, the tail? Yeah. So, um, you'll see it's kind of nice and flat and very muscular. And it almost doesn't help much more. They don't use it so much for, um... The otters were put away and we next got to experience an unusual animal, the spotted paca. They made their rounds as we fed them grapes, which they devoured. Some slobbered grape juice all over Jeff's legs. 
Oh my god, man. And of course, there's a lot of dappled sunlight. These coconuts are mimicking the little rays of sunlight that are coming through the forest canopy. And that's giving them camouflage in that environment. Because they're nocturnal, that means they're more active at night. So during the day, they want to be able to curl up into a little ball, blend in with their surroundings, and take a nap. They also have very coarse hair. That's because they are also aquatic. Their, their environment is very wet. They do. Oh, you're still chewing. Yeah. They do go into the water. Great. Over there. And then we'll and then we'll stock up. Here you go. Okay. Four. Four. Don't come over here and chew over me. <laughs> no. And Nino is a drooler. He drools that grape juice all over here. Oh. Yeah, I see. On the bottom of the river as they're they're walking. This is the popular one today. Now we've discovered these guys. Don't eat near me. No, no, he he looks like he's he he's gagging. He got you. <laughs> so we've had guests, we had a guest that said if you don't get dirty here, you're not dirty, right? Yeah. So you're so right. <laughs> Our next animal experience was with the three-toed sloth, noted for slowness of movement and for spending most of their lives hanging upside down in the trees of tropical rainforests. So probably improve their peripheral vision. They're constricted because she is a nocturnal animal. So she's limiting the amount of light that's going into her eyes right now because her eyesight is much better uh, in the darker. All right, you want to come over? environment. I just don't want to stand under the branch because she uh, wants to immediately climb when she's under the branch. She's, yeah, she's ready. She's her. ready. She's definitely ready. All right. Thank Everybody got to pedal, right? Yeah. Okay, you. perfect. All right. I'm going to let her climb around. And as she climbs around, I'm going to ask you guys not to pet her and to give her about a two foot distance between you and her. Um, you guys can take pictures of her and with her if you take yourself a picture if you take a picture of yourself with her, that's called a sloth. I will tell you a little bit about how amazing they are. You can see that they are beautifully designed for climbing. Um, they have those long front claws that are uh, mostly going to be used for grabbing onto things. So as you can see, she's able to grab onto those branches and it's kind of like a clothes hanger. So essentially, if you think about a clothes hanger, it doesn't have muscles. It's not trying to hold on. It's just designed that way. Um, so she's the same way. She doesn't actually have to expend a lot of muscle mass to hang on, um, but uh, basically that is really helpful because they actually have less muscle mass than most mammals. But that muscle mass is all designed for climbing instead of um, for crawling. So if we were to put her on all fours on the ground, she wouldn't really be able to crawl like uh, a lot of animals can. She wouldn't be able to support her body weight. Um, it'd be more like a commando crawl where she's just kind of grabbing onto things and dragging herself along. Um, for that reason, they're very vulnerable when they go to the ground. They don't spend a lot of time on the ground um, because they're vulnerable when they go to the ground. Uh, they do most of their things up in the trees, and that includes eating, sleeping, making babies, having babies. That all happens up in the trees. Uh, uh, this is Matilda. She's our dwarf, hairy armadillo. They also are referred to as a screaming armadillo. One of our defense mechanisms is to let out this high-pitched scream. That sounds like a car alarm going off. It is crazy loud. You would not suspect that noise coming from her cute little face. The other armadillo we have is cantaloupe. And cantaloupe is our three-banded armadillo. We know she's a three-banded because you can count the bands. One, two, three. <laughs> An even better way, though, to know she's a three-banded is if she can curl completely into a ball. Oh, just oh, like that. Wow. You know Pokemon. she's a three-banded. <laughs> I know, it's pretty awesome, huh? I know, literally a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, yep. Nature's Pokemon. Hi. Yep, here, stand there. They want to get a picture. There we go. Come down, Matilda. You're cute, too. Maybe not as much slow-mo. Especially the way she walks on those little yeah. cute toes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very funny. If you can get rid of that slow-mo, it is awesome. Lots of guests have done it and it is perfect. There are about 16 different species or so of armadillos. All of them are found in Central and South America. We do have one though that can also be found here in the United States and that's going to be the nine band. You're scared, little girl. He's sweet. That end's not pointy, yeah. so you're good. The ears are really soft. Yeah, so it's like really thick hair. Yeah. yeah. With hairspray on it. Yes. 
and lots, lots. of hair gel. <laughs> yeah. His actually like It does. They're cute. Because once he's done with his yam, he is part of his routine. <laughs> so I was saying that all lemurs come from the island nation of Madagascar, and all oh, lemurs are somewhere on the endangered species list. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were uh, oh, having uh, difficulties this morning. Oh, oh you're so, so soft. Know. <laughs> yes. Weird. So oh. soft. Okay, then. Look, he's got some too. Oh. Henry Dorley Zoo have been doing just that. Oh, Henry Dorley too. Zoo in yeah. Omaha, Nebraska, they've kind had a reforestation it, yeah. project going for the last several years. Last year, they just announced that they replanted their two millionth tree in Madagascar. That's huge. Hey. So we as consumers can not only support their operations, but we can also, when we are purchasing things, make sure that those things, like hardware. Next, it was off to visit with the kangaroo who were mostly lethargic from the unusual heat that had hit Southern California during our early September visit. Just to <laughs> you can still pet him. You can still try and feed him. He's actually the perfect kangaroo to oh, get a self Yes. Yeah, like some of this. Yes, you don't want them? Oh, there you go. No. Nope. Not interested. How's, uh, Can I pet it's you? Good. Never even you got muddy feet. What have you been digging so in? muddy feet there. That's a really good observation. That is how kangaroos are going to keep themselves cool. So kangaroos can't yep. sweat can like you or I. Yep. So what they do, they take this really thick oh, spit smear it all over their forearms where the blood vessels are nice and close to the surface. And that's how they keep cool. Here in captivity, we obviously provide them with mysteries as well. But we don't have that luxury in the wild. What are you digging for? You can pet him back, back yeah. and tails. I do really recommend patting their tails. Those tails are going to be solid muscle and strong enough to be able to support that full 200 pound body weight that Wendy was talking about earlier. It is. A lots of our guests actually compare it to a fuzzy snake. He's good at his teeth. Yeah, that's, that's okay. They are really soft. That uh, fur is really dense and the wool is itch. But going back to those tails, those tails are going to be utilized in a couple different ways. So kangaroos can't walk like you or I. That's a perfect oh, example of how they walk, lazy. right there. Yeah. They have to firmly plant that tail on the, uh, on the ground and then for their four toes. Those back legs, they have a toe here. Big toe here. And then this, right in there, is two toes fused together. Oh, weird. Yeah, very bizarre. And what those two toes fuse together, they're only two toes. Nice there's There's not much else with it. Yep. Yeah, you see, it's pretty floppy. Like, huh. It doesn't oh, so do much. So, so they can kind of so like tempting to touch the ears, and then I'm good. Remember. Uh, but this big toe here is going to be their weapon. So. Do they have like a sharp nail on it? They do have really sharp nails. So, um, they actually, there's been records and documentation of an adult male kangaroo actually being able to gut it's too yeah. bad that you yeah. can't touch your face because look how cute uh, you are. They're pretty yeah. so charming. They are good. Like, like, like Arnold Schwarzenegger and his Oh, and Charlie. Yeah. He's like, maybe. Nah. And it's not even really a seasonal thing. If it was a seasonal thing in the winter or whenever one is gray, they all would gray. So we're not sure if it's. Oh, thanks. I don't even know. Yeah, it's really funny. Next was the grand finale, our chance to swim with otters. Oh, you hear that? I know, I love that. Oh, dive right in! Go see her! Oh, right in there. Who's like your baby? Hello. Yeah, the lower you are in the water, the more they are going to hang out with you. Oh, I see you. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh, so still even in the water. Oh, they also oh, like oh, the oh, 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 these are adult Asian small. So this is full grown. This is oh, as big as they get. 
actually so fun. fun. They're about medium size. We have some otters that are a little bit bigger, just oh, depending on the good. otter. There's some that are larger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're scratching on me. Oh, he's just filling with his feet balls because of a boy. Exactly. So, yeah, so what they'll do, um, <laughs> but they are out in the wild. Uh, oh, you're be, digging in my shirt. That's what yeah. you're doing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd like cracking crevice. Okay. So they're going to okay. be hungry. Are you okay? <laughs> okay, yeah. perfect. I just didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, yeah they'll go that. all the way in. <laughs> <laughs> in the bathing suit as well. <laughs> they're not shy. Here, let me get you guys shirt. There you go. There you go. Get all up in there. Hey, Dad Frog. There's so much stuff in there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you gonna bring it? You bring it up from the Yeah, that doesn't oh, have holes in it yet. Oh, You're gonna yeah. make holes in it. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. This one's new. So. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it hasn't been destroyed yet. Yeah, well, that's the otter. That's the otter now. Yeah. Well, you're not going to touch that then. Okay, lots of people do it. Alright. Oh, you got a little otter kiss. We should have marbles in my house. How we broke. Um, and, um. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> the red face, I love it. <laughs> yeah, you be good. Oh my god, you're okay. Don't worry, they never stop. They never stop. They sometimes hang out for a bit, but they're never stuck. I know, I feel like he's going to be stuck and then, oh, yeah. They have that. gone in like a, a wetsuit and gone out to sleep. So.